This is the Waratah Masters hosted enduro crit race. Enduro meaning it is longer. It's an hour 50 plus one lap for us in B grade here. This is on October 1st, 2018. It's a Labor Day weekend. This is a Monday. Uh, I've raced here twice before on this. Uh, this is Eastern Creek Dragway. I raced here twice before, so pretty uh, new to this track. Um, once the other direction and once in this direction, anti clockwise. Going into the race, we had four of us from uh, Camden Cycle Club. We, uh, before, we didn't have a uh, concrete plan, just knew we were going to work together the best we could. We we're going to try and be independent but work as a team and see what we could do. Try and get someone on the podium. So, my teammate there on the, in the footage right now on the right, 124, Glenn, uh, he wasn't, he's at eight days straight at this point of racing and training, so he wasn't feeling very sharp and he was happy to work for others. He's a selfless rider. Uh, so we had, um, I said four of us. Glenn was willing to uh, help others get on the podium. In the rear camera now you can see Craig just leaving view. Uh, he was feeling, feeling, feeling good, I guess. So the consensus was that uh, Craig and myself were sort of the two freshest riders and Manuel we see now number 26 and Glenn number 124 were the two that are going to sort of help Craig and myself uh, get on the podium. That was the that was the plan going into it, but you never know what could happen. Of course, anyone, any one of us could, uh, if any one of us got in the podium, we'll be all happy. So it wasn't really a concrete plan, but that was the general sort of pen penciled in idea. We didn't have a plan in terms of when we're going to attack, who's going to attack, how and when. It was more sort of uh, just stick together and, and do what we can to help each other. Nothing really in cement, like I said. Um, yeah, so that was the plan going into it. An hour 50 of going around in circles here, so not a lot really happens. There was a few... Um, breakaway attempts but nothing really solid nothing really got away there were just ones and twos no, no real group got away i thought i would uh if i saw the opportunity get into something and, and maybe even drag drag one of our other one of the teammates here across if we had two of us in a break would be would be ideal um but nothing really uh worth worrying about uh was established so nothing much to watch throughout this video so i'm sure people who didn't race in it won't really care and can skip through to the end to see the finish uh, during the race, I did my best to try and uh, smooth out my power profile. Looking at the race after, I was uh, pretty happy. I've definitely uh, gotten better at uh, being smooth during these crit races rather than being spiky. Uh, being smooth is generally believed to be less taxing in the body. So I did my best to sort of uh, leave a bit of a gap with the wheel in front of me, go into a corner, and then roll up on them through the corner to help reduce that sharp spike of power coming out of it. These corners here weren't my best, still sort of warming up, getting my eye in, but halfway through I started to get a lot better at that. And like I said, my power profile at the end was uh, was better than it's been before in crit races. Uh, so I'll leave you to it to watch the rest of it. I said nothing really to, to report, so uh, no real highlights to go to. I'll put in the description, uh, you'll see in the description rather, that there's uh, links to the third, second and uh, last lap, so you can uh, skip through to there if you want. Um, and enjoy the, uh, the footage.
front. I think I'm going at the back. <laughs>
coming into the last lap here, I was uh, really happy to be up near the front and having uh, two teammates near me as well, which was uh, of great benefit. Usually I'm near the back or off the back, so a new experience coming into the last lap with this many uh, competitors and being near the front. I thought I would uh, go with anything that was significant, so three or more riders, if they went off the front, I thought I'd go with them but trying to uh, hold myself back, and I thought I might hold in for the sprint. Um, so here we had one guy attacking down the main straight there, and I um, decided that wasn't enough, just one rider. But being near the front, I knew I could jump on anything that was significant, but usually right about this time, I would, uh, if I am near the front, I would try and take off on my own, but um, trying a new tactic today, and uh, with teammates, thought I would uh, try and sit in a bit longer. now have another attack off the front with one then two and now three goes a third guy tries to join so now I'm really tempted to try and bridge over but I thought I'd see how long see how much of a gap they got before I tried and and I was feeling good about staying in for the final sprint so I uh, as you can see here didn't didn't try and make that bridge that gap I had Craig here in front of me number 137 and Manuel is somewhere around so he might be in front as well so I thought I'd hold off and, and wait and see. I'm uh, glad I did because those three didn't last long as you can see here getting uh, pulled back in again. As you can see, heart rate's getting high now. Pace is picking up, but I, even though the heart rate's quite high, um, 180 for me is usually pretty much max. Um, I was feeling good. I was still feeling quite good here. Um, yeah, so there was a few other laps early on where I felt it was a bit, pace was uh, a bit more frantic and a bit more difficult, but I knew if I could hang on now through this little rise here and stay up with this group at the front here, I'd be in good, good shape. Almost feeling too good here, uh, rolling up towards the front and uh, maybe getting too close to the front. But I knew Manuel was there, so I thought, well, I'll stick with him. And uh, I think he's got more experience than I have, particularly with the bunch bunch sprint. So, but if I follow him, I'm in good hands. I like the position we're in right here. And coming around this next corner, I started to feel like we're gonna get swamped and lose our good position. So um, I pushed up with Manuel here, and I think you'll hear me say to, uh, to him to let's go, as I was concerned we're gonna get swamped by the guys behind us. thinking was pretty accurate here because um, here they go two-man team on the right I was determined to keep Manuel's wheel had some aggressive guys to my left and right particularly the Parramatta guy on my left um, he was super aggressive but uh, I was determined to keep I got really competitive there to keep Manuel's wheel but I just lost a bit of speed and he took it so well done to him but I wasn't too worried about that I thought an extra body to draft off is not a bad thing there's still a bit to go so having an extra uh, extra wheel is not a bad thing at all Chris here from Waratahs couldn't keep that gap, so I had to bridge across. This Penrith guy's on my wheel. I think it was a smart move by him. Staying small. I had a choice here to either go left and stay with Manuel, or, or go to the right and stay in the clear, and I was concerned about getting boxed in, staying to the left. So I went long from the right, thinking, okay, it's a long distance out, but either I'm going to get the win, 
or Craig on you was somewhere, somewhere behind me. I thought he would come through, uh, hopefully come past me and get either the winner or placing. And uh, he got he got first and I got third. So very happy with that. Uh, good good all around teamwork there. We weren't the most organised, but we did work together. And Manuel did an excellent job in getting us into the right position. And um, yeah, Craig came through with a lot of power at the end there. So well done to him. A well deserved win for Craig. And I think overall. Good job for us. We haven't worked together before much, but uh, it's a good start.